Today we'll show you how to install a throttle with a voltage display on your electric scooter or electric bike. Let's get started. Over here I've got two throttle control. The one on the left has a voltage display but doesn't have a ignition key. The one on the right has a voltage display and also an ignition key so you can turn it on and off. Let's first talk about the one without the ignition key. And this one has four wires in which three of the wires are together and in a connector. And this is the throttle control and it goes directly to a controller. And here is a typical uh, 36, 48 volt brushless DC controller and it has a throttle control connector which you connect this directly to that. You can see all of the colors are matching. It has black, red and green. On this wire, red is positive, 5 volts, black is ground and green is signal wire and it is variable depends on how much you press on the throttle and it goes from 0 to 5 volts. And as you can see, the connectors are different size and different types, so they don't match. And also the order of the wires are different. This one is red, green, black. This one is green, red, and black. So you're going to have to cut the wires and either solder them together or make your own connectors. And this basic wiring is the same for all throttle control. It doesn't matter if it's a thumb twist or foot pedal throttle. They all have three wires, but some of them have different colors, like this one here. It's a foot pedal for go-kart, and the color is quite different. It has red, green, and yellow. And in this case, red is positive 5 volts, yellow is ground or negative, green is signal wire. And I have hooked it up to my scooter controller, and let's give it a try. So as you can see, the ground wire is not always black. In this case, it's yellow. And on my controller, it's white. But on this connector here, it's black. But one thing that they all have in common is that the signal wire is always green. Green here, green here on my controller, and green here on this connector. There's one more thing that they all have in common is that they always come in three wires that is installed in the same connector. This one here and this one here. So next let's install the thumb throttle with a digital voltage display. This throttle control has four wires in which three of the wire is throttle control wire which I already connected to my controller and the fourth wire is yellow. This wire will go directly to the battery positive terminal. And I have made an extra wire that goes from my switch here. And this is the positive terminal from the battery. And this wire has an alligator clip so that I can connect to the yellow wire of the uh, throttle control. So in order to use this throttle, you're going to have to make a separate wire that goes from the positive of your battery. And in my case, it's 80 volt battery. And then you connect that positive wire directly to that yellow wire. Now it shows my battery voltage, which is 78 volts. And... The question is, do you really need to connect this yellow wire to positive for the battery for this to work? And the answer is no. So I'm going to disconnect this. And let's try if still works. There you go. So the purpose of the yellow wire is just for the digital voltage display. Without it, this would still work as a regular throttle control just like the foot pedal throttle that I showed you earlier. And the last throttle I want to talk about is the one with an LCD voltage display and a key switch. 
and on this throttle we have five wires we have a three wire connector for the throttle control we have a yellow wire and we have blue wire okay. so the yellow wire will go to the positive line of your battery the blue wire will go to the switch when you turn the key on it will connect the yellow wire to the blue wire and that will provide power to the throttle control and I can demonstrate this with my multimeter here so I have set it to continuity test and when the two wires are connected this will beep I have connected the yellow and the blue wires to the probe of my multimeter and now if I turn on the ignition it will beep what that means is the ignition is for connecting the yellow and the blue wires together and that's it but the way you turn on a brush controller is different from a brushless controller and I'm going to go over them separately and that's because on the brush controller the power switch is a two wire connector and on a brushless controller the wire switch is a single red wire so first let's talk about the brush controller I'm doing this outside using my electric motorbike that has a 48 volt brush DC motor and in case you're wondering behind it is a Tesla Model 3 battery on a brush DC controller like this one here you have a connector that's labeled power locks and it has a red and a blue wire and that's the switch so you usually connect this to a switch so you can turn on and off the controller and in this case I'm just going to use a paper clip and short out the two wires and you can hear the relay click and the controller will turn on hear that? the red wire carries system voltage so if I just take my voltmeter here and measure the voltage across the red and the blue wire I've got 45 volts and that's the voltage of my battery right now or if I just take the red wire and connect to any ground which is a black wire right here we got 46 volts now let's connect this throttle to the controller the yellow wire on this throttle will go to the red wire on the switch connector and the blue wire on this throttle will go to the blue wire on this uh, switch and if I turn on the key we show 45.7 volts and that's my battery voltage and we can now run the throttle next step I'm going to show you how to connect this to a brushless controller which is installed on my electric scooter here almost all controllers have a switch wire and in this case it's this wire right here so this is the connector that you connect to the main battery and it usually has two right you only need two wires we have two thick wire here one black and one red so these wire will go to the battery and it's thick because it carries higher current this wire is skinnier because it doesn't require higher current because it's just a signal wire so you connect this wire to the red wire that will turn on the controller but the thing is the switch wire doesn't always connect it to the same connector sometimes it's loose like this controller the switch wire is here and it's loose and there's no connector like this on this controller it's just loose wire but uh, you can tell because that's the only red wire that is loose on this controller meaning it goes by itself okay there are many red wires on this controller but they are all installed in a connector like this 
Uh, let me find. There's a, another red wire, but it's on a connector. Okay. And there are no other loops, uh, single red wire on this uh, controller. So almost always, the switch wire on this controller is the single skinny red wire, not the thick one. Okay. This will go to the battery. So in this case, we're going to connect the yellow wire from the throttle to the thick red wire on the controller and these will go to the battery the blue wire from the throttle will go to the skinny red wire on this controller and the three pin throttle control wire will go to the three pin connector on the controller now let's give it a try here i have connected the blue wire to the switch on my controller and the yellow wire to the main positive of the battery and this is just regular three pin connector straight to my controller now we can turn it on there we go it's on 78 volts and now if I turn off the key okay we we'll turn off and it does not work right that's the whole point of having a key and that's it for now folks how to connect a throttle control with a digital display and a key to your controller and here's an update with my seemingly never-ending electric scooter project I have replaced my eight and a half inch motor with a 10 inch motor from a bird one scooter it's huge this thing is very powerful i have just done a test drive it's so powerful it's scary there are still a couple of things that need to get done before i can finish this project uh, i need to install this mud guard here because this wheel is too big it doesn't fit anymore i need to install a deck so that i have room for my new 72 volt controller and I will show you all that in my next video. Till then, thanks for watching. See you next time.